bang, bang. So today we are gonna make a license plate uh, holder for my bumper that has no grill anymore. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with only $10, maybe less. Um, it's very easy. So I got this angled plate and this other, this other, um, piece of plate, I guess. Okay, so now I got my two pieces cut. The way this is gonna go is that the angle bar is gonna go right here. And then the straight bar that I just cut is gonna go in between those, like this. Just like that, in between. Um, it holds a place to like, uh, the reason for this is that so that my license plate wouldn't bend, it's like a support thing and so it should hold pretty fine. So my next step is to drill holes to line up with these, the bottom and the top for the support and then the actual holder, bang. These are the stuff you would need, an angle 90 degree bar, um, just a flat uh, metal piece for the support and then we got the screws, lock washers and then the nut. These are um, a quarter inch thick and then depending on how, how thickness you guys go you can decide whatever, whatever um, length you guys want to do. And so yeah, we'll assemble it and I'll show you guys how it looks. step is to drill holes up here but then I, I want to figure out where I'm gonna place it in the um, in the metal bar here right here so that's my next step now so once I got it done um, we'll hook it up and this is just not for everybody that does the grill delete it also helps for the people that have the rocket bunny or if they don't have any other places to um, mount their license plate on their car I guess this is one way to do it and it's a cheap way to do it it cost me uh, ten dollars like five dollars for this bar and five dollars for this long piece which I have here and so I have a spare finally back after an hour uh, the cause of that is that because I have to take my bumper off because um, since I have my horns, two horns that was installed here, I couldn't get my plate to go like this. And somewhat like that. Um, I relocated, I had to relocate my other horn. Now that's only for me because that's where I put my aftermarket horns. Um, it depends on you guys. If you have the stock, then you don't have to take the bumper off. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to make it fit now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it exactly like this. So I'm just gonna grill it and then put my bumper back on, and then we'll be good to go. Here we are. Check it out. Mm. So it's too dark to see, but the bash bar took forever to drill. So. Luckily I found one hole here underneath that lines up with the hole I made in the license plate frame and then I had to drill one on this side. 
which took so long. And look at this, check this out. Look how dull my drill got. Hold on, let me try to focus. Look at that, that's, that's unreal. Like it's not even a drill anymore. What the fuck? Hey, what's up guys? Finally, we are done. Here is the final product. You might wanna do this. Check it out, it looks way cleaner. Mmm. Nice. You can't even see the bracket, that's the beautiful thing about it. Like, it's hidden underneath. You can kind of see it right here peeking. But like, if someone was ever to rob your plates for some reason, it's gonna take them a while because they can't even get through this nut right here.